Yeah. Hi, have a look at this very simple program. We have a function called get code name. This get code name is accepting just one parameter, which is the name of the Apple CPU. What it does, it basically has a if else ladder which is pretty huge. And based on the Apple CPU, it is returning the code name. Things are pretty simple. If I go ahead and run the program, you will see the output it is working. This approach is quite good when we do not have too many if else conditions. But imagine if you have this many if else conditions to use, then the if else letter going to be messy sooner than you think. Even if I replace the if else letter with switch case statement, that not going to help me out because it's still it is pretty long a little bit confusing but luckily in javascript there is a very simple solution we can utilize objects which are called hash map in java or dictionaries in python in place of using switch case statement or if else ladder we can define an object which is nothing but unordered values of key value pairs next let us modify the function and now the modify function looks like this now we have only one line of code in our function. It is accepting the same argument and trying to read the value against it. If the value does not exist, then we are returning the name of the CPU. So let me save this program, open up the terminal, we should still see the same output. Yeah.